you please move? I just need to check. You my... don't have any new emails. No new notifications on Facebook. Nothing particularly interesting on the front page of Reddit. No new videos from either of your YouTube subscriptions. Nothing particularly interesting going on in world news right now. And there's nothing from either of your various online dating profiles. Of course, you already knew all of that because you literally just checked all of that on your phone. And that, that's all out of the way. Time for you to get to work. Just got back from work. Nope. Not now. Come on, man. I've been up since 4.30. Let's get to it, sunshine. You've got some paintings to do for your sister. I need a nap. remember how to paint. I know it's been a few years. That building's a little too fat. Yeah. Thanks. So where have you been? I already told you I was at work. Oh, that's weird. I don't remember seeing you here all day. So, what's your schedule for this week? Why are you even bothering to ask? You already know my internet history. I want to hear it from you. What's on the docket today? This painting, I guess. And... Let's see what else I can get to after that. Better than nothing. At least you're showing up to work for a change. What are you talking about? The only times I haven't shown up for work were for being sick. What I'm saying is, you haven't been showing up to work for a few years now. Please stop. Look, I know you're tired, but just listen to what I have to Please say. go away. Okay, let's take a lesson from your tenure in retail. Remember those days when there was a lot that needed to get done and your crew wasn't as productive as you'd hoped? Or when some of them quit during the middle of a big project. Yes. Or when someone had to call in sick or overslept or just didn't show up at all with no explanation. It really set the store back. Remember the week at Christmas? Yes. God, don't remind me. Even though all those factors were mostly out of your control, didn't it still tick you off? It pissed me off, yes. Now you're starting to piss me off. Then why aren't you pissed off at yourself for not being productive? Why aren't you pissed off at yourself for quitting during the middle of a big project? Why aren't you pissed off at yourself for not showing up to this job anymore?
guess I'm not really pissed off. More just. Disappointed in myself. You gotta give yourself some credit. You're doing better than most people would have in your position. It's not saying much. Certainly, people better suited for that job. Definitely do without all the stress. What? That was my alarm for work. You kept me up all night. Hey, I didn't know such thing. That was all you. <sighs> Can I sleep? Uh, it's gonna suck. <sighs> Could you please open the door? I left my keys and paperwork in there. Where are you going? To work. What do you mean? You just got done with work. What do you mean? I have to go to the store now. Why? You don't work there anymore. Come again? Yeah, don't you remember putting in your two weeks notice? When did I do that? Uh, exactly two weeks ago. Why did you do that? Because I was stressing you out. You did it for your own mental health and sanity. But barring that... There's a much more important reason why you shouldn't be working there anymore. It's not really getting any better. It's, uh, I mean, since the team isn't getting any better, they're getting faster and keep, they keep leaving work at the end of the week that we didn't get to that, and it, it's, so it's stores starting to feel it, you know, it's I uh Yeah, I don't think I don't think management is the right choice for me. Well you've definitely you've worked hard on it, Ben. You have. I know um you know, you've tried. Probably some of the areas, you know, that we could have done a little bit better would have been spending more time coaching and, and training the associates. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked in the beginning about you being kind of quiet and um, withdrawn, and in the beginning you did pretty good about being a little more vocal, but kind of slipped back into that a little bit. Um, you know, the store's definitely a higher volume store than most of ours, and it's harder to do. Um, possibly if you were at a lower volume store, you might be, a, be more successful. I mean, I've thought about this, and it's not an easy decision for me to make, but it's probably ultimately the right one, because, well, I, uh, hold on. Yeah, I was just saying, uh, yikes. Um, but yeah, the, I'm definitely naturally better at other things. You may consider in the future, you know, we get a little more training. We can progress you further. Well, I appreciate the offer, but uh, yeah, I think my energies are better spent elsewhere. I understand. You know, I've, I've seen some of the work that you do outside of Michael's, and um, you, you have a lot of talents. Maybe that's where you should be pursuing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. All right. 
You were never meant for management, let alone in retail. You're just not the kind of person to get that job done. But you are for this job. Plus, the pay wasn't really worth all the effort you were putting in. Yeah, I get that, but... What am I going to do for money now? Well, this. Realistically. <sighs> Look at your phone. I'll explain later. No. Explain now. Go ahead and hit the hay. You've earned it after a hard day's work. Please.